As we move into the geophysical year, scientific investigations of the Earth and its relationships in the universe are currently reaching a new high. Research is going on from pole to pole, from Arctic to Antarctic. Today's big picture deals with one of our Army's scientific investigation projects. The work being done by the Corps of Engineers, First Engineer Arctic Task Force. Since 1954, when the first task force was formed, Army and civilian scientists and engineers have been working in the frozen wastes within the Arctic Circle. Even as we watch today's report, men of the first engineer Arctic task force are compiling data in their snow and ice shelters, which will add immeasurably to man's understanding of the world in which he lives. An imaginary line drawn round the top of the world, 23 and a half degrees from the North Pole, marks the Arctic Circle. Contained within the circle in our hemisphere are parts of Alaska, Canada, and Greenland. It is an area of the world little populated by man, for the ice and snow and sub-zero cold are unfriendly to human life. For many years, the importance of this part of the world as a weathermaker has been recognized. For here is a huge reservoir of cold, which daily affects the world's weather. The lands within the Arctic Circle also represent a tremendous recording machine of time and climates past. Since the years when the first explorers penetrated these frozen wastes and reported their findings, scientists have found the information about temperatures, 